photograph. But he is in the photograph. You mentioned. So you're saying he is one of the men holding either her hands or her legs. Well, let me let me just explain. Sure. You, you're, in your question to me, you asked seemingly unconscious, and that's correct. The photo is out of context. That young lady is not unconscious. That young lady uh, was capable of walking it, and her friends are individuals who indicated that information to the police. Well, that was Walter Madison talking about this controversial photo. Now, you are asserting that she is not uh, unconscious or incapacitated in that oh, boy. photo. How do you know she is? Oh, there was discussion behind it, and there were witnesses. With the transcript, I indi you indicated that you had a copy of the transcript. There were three witnesses selected by the state of Ohio at their election, and those were the three that they felt best established their case. There are additional witnesses, some of which are friends with the accuser, and I choose that word versus victim because the victim assumes something's happened. Um, <clears throat> the accuser in this case, and um, they offer information that allows me to know, and I'm telling you, that that photograph where she's being carried, uh, I would give it location number two. Location one was the infamous party. That's location two, and then there was a third location. Right. So in between the top, the top, the internal between this photo and location three, uh, she's, there's a testimony and evidence to suggest that she's talking, interacting, making decisions, and even, even providing the passcode to her cell phone so that others can get in and unlock her phone. High school football is a big deal in Steubenville, Ohio. Gino is one of the big red senior football players on the team. He says it's like being a celebrity in this town of some 18,000. He's good friends with the two accused. He wasn't present at the party where the alleged rape took place but has his own opinions about what really happened. Let's hear what he has to say. Around Steubenville, being on the football team is... Man, that's my school, school, man. Look at that. Check him out. Chet and Leek are close friends of mine. I would never expect them to do anything like this. When my son and I did the CNN interview, they asked if he believed that his teammates were guilty. No, not at all. And when he said, no, not at all, my heart sank and my guts just cringed because I knew that there would probably be a lot of backlash for him standing up for what he believed in. It feels right now in this community that you're in the middle of a horror movie. It feels like you're just kind of watching your back or waiting to be slaughtered. I had a couple people tweet me saying that we all together as a football team need to kill ourselves. And there's another threat which is saying that all four players need to be Threats are scary, but... Text messages going on. Just scary because I think more than half the people are bluffing. Gino might say he's not afraid, but he is having nightmares. He keeps dreaming that four masked men come in their school and shoot it up. I'm very scared. The chance to be able to talk to Dr. Phil is the only thing that has been positive since all this has started. I want to ask Dr. Phil what he suggests or how... We can keep our kids safe again and uh, reunite our community to make it a better place. Well, another senior Big Red football player, Eddie, is also here along with attorney. Can't believe uh, a dude Walter from Stouffville is on Dr. Phil. Walker, Alexandria Goddard. Um, let me let, let me start with you, um, Jill. What do you, what do you think about all this? You're concerned. I'm really, really worried about our children because they're not safe now in our town. There is so much hate because of all this social media and all, all this blogging and all, everything that's happened that they're actually targeting our whole town. Jill, you support your friends. What do you, what do you base that on other than the fact that they're your friends? I believe that because I believe that my friends are innocent because like that's just out of character for them for something like this to happen. Like, I, I would never expect anything like that to happen. Well, but, but you weren't there. No, I was not. So other than just blind support because they're your friends and they're your teammates, and I understand, I played football my entire life, and I have the knees, neck, and head to prove it. So I, I get that. So you really don't know I do not. what happened. You weren't at the party either? No, I want to get that straight. I was not at this party at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, people are saying to me that I was at this party. I was an alleged um, rapist as well. I just want to get that clear. I am not a rapist. I was not there. I have no knowledge of what happened that night. <laughs> so okay. Anonymous, this group yeah. that is disclosing information, Man, that names and names and addresses, and that sort of thing, said you were at the party? Yes. Yeah. And you were not? No, I was not. Well, listen.
listen, this is not a Steubenville problem. In fact, everything that I can find out about Steubenville is that this is a pretty nice community with pretty nice folks and a pretty good place to raise a family. It's just, this just happens to be where we're talking about today, but I'm not here to do a hatchet job on Steubenville. As I said, it's like any town uh, USA. Part of the problem I get is there just wasn't a sense that people knew what they were doing was wrong. And these tweets that parents didn't look at, let's just take a look at just a few of these tweets that were posted. This Michael Nodiamas that we've talked about, which we invited to come to the show, which I thought he should do, because I frankly don't think what that young man said on that video in that moment and that time uh, reflects who he is. I mean, kids do stupid things, and he, he was just trying to be funny, and he sounded to me like he maybe was drunk or whatever. I strongly suspect that would not be what he would say or do in a rational moment, and I don't think he should be vilified for the rest of his life for that, as, as obnoxious as it was. Go ahead, Dr. And I, I would like to have talked to him and tried to give him some help with that, but nobody wants to be accountable these days. Uh, one of his tweets was, Song of the Night is definitely Rape Me by Nirvana. But nobody knew what was going on. He says, Rest in peace to the person that died. You went out doing it big. Trent Mays, I'm so mad, like I'm going to get in so much so for doing a favor for real. Trent Mays, nothing even happened. People seriously need to shut up. By other teams, Nody was saying some bangers last night. Like I always say, you don't need much foreplay with a dead girl. It wasn't rape. They were just making love. You know, there just seems to be an absolute disrespect and lack of empathy uh, for this young woman, whatever state she may have been in. Coming up, there are rumors of another alleged rape. We're going to ask the chief of police and the sheriff if there is any truth to that rumor. We'll be right back.